the night before we was having such a great time. I mean, it was like the world had stopped just for us. One of the best nights we ever had. Woke up the next morning. You know, I woke up, she's in the bathroom brushing her teeth. She looked back at me and smiled and said, I love you, baby. I said, I love you too. And she said, I love you again. And I'll see you after I get off work today. I say about 15, 20 minutes after she left, someone knocked on my window, which was a friend of mine. He said, I think your wife just got hit by a car up the street. I'm like, what? So I jumps up out of the bed. I'm like, man, it's gotta be, I'm dreaming or something. I throw my clothes on. I run up the street. I'm praying that, you know, it's somebody else. Please, Lord, don't let it be her. When I get up there, they already got it taped off. And um, I see these shoes laying in the street. And I'm looking. I'm like, them look like her shoes. So I'm peeping around again. I'm just peeping. I'm just peeping. And then all of a sudden, I catch a glimpse of her face. And that's when it struck me. It was her. And it just broke me down. It was a tragic day. A very tragic day, you know? I lost someone who I cared dearly for, who I love with all my heart, who I know loved me unconditionally. And that was taken from me. Everything she did was special. Everything she did was special. So it's not just one thing about Lisa. It's the whole package, the whole young lady. Yeah. I didn't know where to turn. I've never been in this situation before. I, never, I didn't know how I was going to put her away. I didn't know what to do. I went to Grizz Rental Home and he told me about Catholic Charities. And the young lady that interviewed me, she was outstanding. She was very helpful. She was nice, kind, considerate, you know, like people should be. She didn't treat me like I was a nobody. She, she treated me like I was a man. They took pressure off me. They helped me breathe better. They helped me understand that, don't worry, she's going to be put away. She's going to be put away like she should be. She's not going to be just thrown in a box or whatever and forgotten. So, you know, they gave me the, the feeling of hope that everything was going to be okay. And it was. 